A car travelling at 25 metres per second decelerates uniformly to rest in 5 seconds. Find the deceleration and the distance travelled in this time. So we've got that u is 25 metres per second. We've got the time is 5 seconds. The final velocity, because it uh, decelerates to rest, will be 0 metres per second. A, we, we don't know, and the uh, displacement, we don't know either. So we've got a car, initial velocity of 25 metres per second. So drawing a drop diagram can actually help. And we know that it's going to um, come to rest, so V will be equal to 0 metres per second. And then we have acceleration acting in the opposite direction. So U will be equal to V is equal to U plus AT. And therefore 0 will be equal to 25 plus A times 5, because the time is 5. Rearranging that, we're going to get minus 25 is equal to 5A, and A is equal to minus metres per second squared, because the acceleration is acting in the opposite direction. Note that negative means deceleration in this case, because it's acting against the uh, car. So the car has a deceleration, we just give the answer though as positive, because we asked for deceleration, which is 5 metres per second squared. So using S is equal to UT plus a half AT squared, we got that the S will be equal to 25 times 5, because the in initial... Uh, Velocity is 25 times 5 plus a half times minus 5. We won't put this in negative because it's uh, acting in the opposite direction. Times 5 squared. So that gives me 62.5 metres. So the car travels 62.5 metres in, uh, in the time given in the question above. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.